Hey everybody, and welcome to a revival of car talk. No, I'm not driving right now. I'm just in my car. I was just having a conversation with a friend who is really struggling with the ugliness of the, I don't want to say the world, the ugliness that she's looking at in the world right now. And um, I wanted to come on here and address that and help you maybe maneuver some of this. Um, first of all, I like to remind everyone that the ugliness that you see in the world with politics and rioting and debating and yelling and conspiracies and so on and so forth, even though it's the majority of what you may be looking at, it's not the majority of what's going on in the world, on our planet. And I like to remind us that there is more space on this planet that is actually peaceful and beautiful and harmonious. For instance, there are places along mountain ridges and all through the mountains, forests, jungles, deserts, the ocean, um, so much land coverage, okay, that is going upon its business as normal. There are people on this planet who don't know what's going on in the United States, right? There are so, there's so much in the planet that's not, um, a part of that. And so it's important to remember this because when it's all you see everywhere you go in, in the United States right now, everywhere you go, you're seeing bumper stickers, you're seeing signs, you're seeing billboards, everything you hear on the radio, everything you see on TV, everything you see on social media is all in your face. Uh, uh, what is going on? And so it's hard to remember that it is not the majority of what's going on in the entire world. Therefore, you it doesn't have to be the majority in your world. You can tap into something greater. And I think that just remembering that is, is really important. So I start my day. Uh, I like to listen to frequencies like on YouTube. Um, you can just, you know, search on YouTube uh, love frequency. You'll get these videos that people have made. They're beautiful videos um, of high vibrational frequencies. They're very melodic. And very often, it is a montage of uh, beautiful scenes throughout the world. Waterfalls and ponds and, you know, ocean landscapes and the stillness of a lake or a blooming flower or animals, butterflies, and if you spend a good five, 10 minutes just meditating, and, and I'm not saying with your eyes closed, I'm saying like watch the, watch the images and invite beauty back into your life. Beautiful things. We are stepping out of the ugliness and we're acknowledging that there's still so much beauty here to behold and that there is peace and you can bring that into your life and that into your experience. And, um, I think just putting those scenes and those visions and that frequency into my experience first thing in the morning. And then before I go to sleep every night, many of you guys know this, I spend time outside under the stars. And I'm a big believer in starlight. I think starlight is very important. It's, and it's, it's one of those, um, it's one of those things that people don't get because they, you know, now we have electricity and everybody goes inside with the lights on. And there's no need to go outside at night. You know, what is there to do outside at night? It's boring. It's dark. There's so much that can happen in your mind and in your body and in your soul and in your heart as you just sit under the stars. And you contemplate and you release the day and you have conversations with the cosmos. And you begin to align with the elements, the air around you. If you have a candle, the fire, if you are drinking water, the water with your feet on the earth, the earth. And I think that for me, there's, there's many benefits to sitting under starlight, but I think also remembering our place in the universe, remembering your place in the universe. And when we get so deeply um, consumed with our own problems, we forget that we are not the center of the universe. We assume that our problems are as big as the universe. Now that's not to say that you're not important and that the things that you are facing are not worth your, your attention, obviously. 
But we need to balance that out by remembering where we are in the universe and who we are in the universe. So for me, when I go and sit under the stars, I remember that there is a vast universe out there and I am just a part of it. And that feeling of um, feeling small in the universe and yet in the most miraculous way, feeling so much love and recognition and importance from my creator is a beautiful balanced dichotomy that I think we all need in our life to recognize our place in the universe, but also how loved and how special and how nurtured and taken care of we are, even though we're not the center of the universe. It brings perspective. It helps you get grounded. So whatever you deal with in the middle of your day, um, drama, discord, ugliness, politics, uh, the advertisements, this stuff coming at you, I think that if you could sandwich your day with something in the morning and something at night, and for heaven's sakes, turn off your phone at night, and reconnect, I think that this will help balance you and create some harmony and soften your edges and help you let down your guard and bring a gentleness and a kind of nurturing love that is missing in all of the ugliness. And in those moments, I really pray that you get your own insight and your clarity and the answers that you're seeking because you're not going to get your answers from well maybe this video (laughs) you're not going to really get a lot of answers scrolling though spend some time with yourself in your own peace and your own beauty make your own personal life beautiful you know i know for me uh making my home beautiful putting um you know lovely scents in the air and you know, gardening and taking care of the plants around my house, taking care of my animals, taking care of my children, um, decorating and, um, you know, just making my own life lovely and beautiful also really helps balance, um, the ugliness that you might see outside of yourself. So just remember the ugliness is small. Beauty is everywhere. And remember that, um, you're a part of the universe and yet you are so important and loved. And I hope this helped. So hang in there, you guys. I'm sending you so much love and light and everything right. Angel blessings.